Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Uh, along with the British public, I felt real sadness at the passing of Prince Philip. On behalf of my Harlow and Village constituents, I give heartfelt wishes and condolences to Her Majesty. He's been such a part of our nation's history for so long, it's hard to imagine our national life without him. I know he's been spoken about as a father, but I see him more as a grandfather of the nation. I remember watching and talking about him and the Queen with my own grandparents when I was growing up, my father and my own generation. And I think with his passing, the history of Britain is changing as well. It was good to read over the past few days, <clears throat> not just his, about his heroic service in the Second World War, but also his defence of Jewish children when, when he attended a German school who were being victimised by the Nazis, and also how his late mother protected Jewish families. The second point I'd like to make is that, as has been said many times during these tributes, that one of the most remarkable things Prince Philip did was to establish the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme. Of course, the charity transformed the lives of millions and millions of individuals, but the skills developed have increased the educational attainment and job prospects of these youngsters too. So perhaps the best memorial, the very best memorial that we can give to Prince Philip is to rocket boost support for the Duke of Edinburgh uh, charity and do everything possible to support it. I'm proud that Prince Philip visited my constituency of Harlow in both 1952 and 1957. His first visit in 1952 came after the post-war New Towns Act, which established a number of new towns, including Harlow. Following his visit, a road that runs from Harlow Mill to Harlow Town Railway Station was named Edinburgh Way in his honour. I'm pleased to say that this road has just been widened. Further to this, in October 1957, Her Majesty the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh made a tour around Harlow, including a visit to the Market Square and a factory. His early modernising spirit symbolised the modernising spirit of Harlow Newtown. We now know that the funeral of Prince Philip will take place on Saturday. And I understand that the specially adapted Land Rover that his coffin will be travelling in was brought from Foley's company in Royden Harlow. It seems that both early on his, in his time as Duke of Edinburgh and now at the very end of his life, he's maintained a proud link to our town of Harlow. May he rest in peace.